Hi, I'm Mark Cleghorn, the Training Director for the Photographer Academy and the Experience Group. Uh, today we're talking about headshot photography again in the business of, I'm sorry to be kind of picking on the one top, top topic, um, but um, I just thought we'd focus in on some of the stuff that I try and encourage my experience group of photographers to really kind of focus in on, especially if headshot photography is going to be a part of their biz a business already, or it already is. One of the key things with the experience group that we kind of help photographers with is uh, literature and graphics. In other words, the message, as well as obviously how it looks and how it's presented, as well as campaigns. So we can kind of look at key date marketing, weekly marketing, special event marketing, but not getting away from your brand. So things like uh, graphics are essential for us um, to ensure that our message is clear every single day of the week, even if it means that we're reusing those graphics on a weekly or a monthly basis and just swapping out the different kind of photographs perhaps. Um, the kind of things that I'll encourage you to have is definitely a price list. Now we create different kind of price lists for our experience group. Um, they're not too hard to create if you're not very good at the likes of design or whatever it is, then pay, you know, 10, 20 quid on, online for some kind of designers to actually do something as a basic for you and things really. But really everything you do represents your brand. And as soon as you accept, uh, accept that, then your brand will become stronger and stronger uh, as, as you develop it and things really. And, you know, I fully uh, um, accept that you might not have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds to spend on good graphic design. That's why as a, biz, a business, we kind of include it within our experience group mem membership during the year and things really. So a price list will probably look um, slightly dif uh, different, depends on what you're going for. Um, as far as the kind of the uh, likes of um, headshot photography, I'd recommend that you have at least four packages or at least three. Um, I would leave off your quickie session off the actual package. It might exist on your web, your website, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's basically gonna be on everything that you print with. We'll, we'll basically see here, as far as the graphics is concerned, it's easy to read, the message is clear, the price is clear. We also have photographs there to demonstrate the type of photograph uh, that we do. So if a person happened to come across this price list, in person, a physical, yes, and we were at a kind of a business event, or whatever it be, they know exactly what it's about. They know this is about headshot photography. I know it sounds really stupid doing this, but one price list does not do all. We have to have dedicated things for the different elements that we want. In this case, we want something dedicated just to the headshot photography. We want to offer them packages, as well as perhaps on the flip side of this, might show your hourly rate in, in, in difference or per image or whatever it be. But whatever you're doing, you need it clean and simple. There's an expression in the design world called KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. And if you follow that the majority of the time, even in the world of photography, to be fair, you can pretty much create more dynamic images uh, in the same way you can create sim a simpler dynamic design without any trouble. So a price list is absolutely essential, not only one that will exist on a website or an app. Uh, for our experience group, we also create app price lists for them that they can obviously go in and change the prices themselves. Uh, they might not want to actually go to print, especially in kind of times where we're restricted in what we can send or give out to clients, like we've gone through COVID years. Um, but now is the time where we can actually hand-to-hand -hand basically information to a customer, whether it's going to be in the post, whether it's in person coming into a studio, or they're at the likes of a, an event and things really. So have something that really looks the part is key. The other thing I would suggest that you have as an essential element to your headshot photography business is some kind of pop-up banner. Um, these are usually really kind of cheap to produce, but what you want to have is great design. Uh, a pop-up banner is basically one of those kind of quick ones that you put up. Um, you arrive at an event, you kind of put your pop-up banners up, 
uh, and then basically you're ready to go with obviously the likes of your laptop or your, uh, your iPad on your table, your business information and so on with it. Um, but as far as your kind of pop-up uh, message is concerned, it's got to be key. One of the things I would suggest to you if you're at a business event, your pop-up banner should be a uh, an enter and win rather than just trying to sell your services. Why? Is because we want to collect as much data as we physically can during the event and not just for a few who want to stop by and discuss actual headshot photography. In fact, the competition alone is designed to stop somebody so you can talk to them. But what I much prefer to do at the likes of an event is basically following the event, I can get in touch with them rather than actually spend all that precious time, not of theirs, but of yours at the event itself. However, there are some events that can really, really work well for you. I, I picked up a, a huge account with Welsh, War, uh, Welsh Water many, many years ago just from being at an account, uh, at an event, I should say, and chatting with the right person for, a, for a, a, a time that was long enough, as it were, just for about five or ten, uh, ten minutes during the pre-breakfast kind of session. Uh, and then we went on to actually have a three-year contract, which was a serious contract for us, uh, and that all stemmed from being at an event itself. What you've got to do is make sure that you're talking to people. Now, if you're not very good at that, get somebody who can do it for you, okay? That is absolutely key. What you don't want to be doing is sat behind a desk, sat on your phone or your iPad, playing on whatever it is, looking at your social media. While you're at an event, you basically need to be working that event, and that's what those pop-up posters are designed to. So if you pop away to the loo, it means that the pop-up banner is still going to be saying, enter your business card to win or fill the information in and blah, blah, blah with it and things really, scan this QR, uh, QR code. Whatever you're doing is what we need to make sure. So two key things there as far as your um, headshot photography is concerned. It would be a, a great looking professional price list that outlines in a simple way what you offer and what you do, and that can then be translated onto your website, onto your LinkedIn or whatever it would be. Then in addition to that, the pop-up banners are ready for the events, and really what you wanna be doing is running the similar same competition at every event that you go to, um, because really this is gonna be a, a one purchase. But what you wanna make sure as well, when you do the pop-ups, if you're given the option of height, so in other words, if you're not in a very, very small kind of boardroom environment, which some of these events are at, try and actually pop your pop-up banners onto the likes of a chair, so they basically go much higher than you are. When you're designing your own banner, make sure the message is at the top rather than at the bottom as such, really. And obviously in today's world, make sure the QR code is easy enough and big enough to actually scan from about 10 feet away. Hope you enjoyed this quick film on literature and graphics for your headshot business.